We all know that Barnaby Joyce is a clown. And uh, oh, I haven't got anything against him personally. Whether he should hold a position of power within, uh, within politics is a matter for discussion, I guess. I mean, you know, when the government was the Liberal Party, he was, as the national leader, he was the Deputy Prime Minister. So it is a, it, and hopefully that will never happen again. But this, this particular picture of Barnaby has gone rather viral and it raises a few interesting questions for me. And the first question is, if that was a picture of Anthony Albanese, how, how would the other side of politics respond? And what nasty, terrible things would they have to say about Albanese's ability to govern the country, to be a member of parliament, that he was a disgrace, that it was an embarrassment, they'd be raising all this, he needs help, he can't, he can't make appropriate decisions given if he was pissed and lying on the ground. So that's the way the other side would respond had it been somebody else apart from Barnaby. But I suspect that because we know Barnaby is such a dick that we kind of expect this stuff from him, whether it is about having relationships outside marriage, whether it's about leaving his, his ex-wife and the kids and you know all the other things that Barnaby has done. Uh, it's kind of uh, a way we tend to want to view Barnaby, which is that he's clownish and therefore he can get away with this sort of stuff. Now, when I was reflecting on it, I was thinking, well, we pay his salary and we probably paid for the booze that he used in order to get so pissed. And the, the distressing thing for me is that this has been an issue for Barnaby for years and and no one it seems to me that no one has and I could be wrong who knows what happens in parliament but no one really has made an effort to be able to get help for him even though I do accept that people have what to want that help themselves but clearly the man has an alcohol problem he's got lots of other problems but alcohol is definitely one of them and his excuse was that he combined the alcohol with his drug use now, there's a, um, and that's not illegal drugs, that's prescription drugs. Don't know what sort of drugs they are. My guess is that they're probably antidepressants. What, if that's the case, then, you know, what mental health, well-being issues does he have? How he's struggling with animation? And if he has those issues, I have, I have empathy for him. I really do. Um, and it is notable that for the last couple of days, he hasn't been in Parliament either. So either he's just so embarrassed about this that he can't show up <coughs> or he is actually doing something about it. I'm hoping, actually, that he does something about it. Now, he popped up on uh, Sunrise, uh, and I'll just play a bit of this clip for you. I won't read all this article, which was in The Guardian. Um, but he did say in this, uh, in this clip that he's not looking for sympathy. Well, you won't get anybody... So that's the right thing to do. But uh, he's well, Opposition leader around. Peter Dutton will this week question Barnaby Joyce over a video that surfaced of the former Deputy PM. Mr Joyce was filmed lying on a street in Canberra, shouting on the telephone after a long parliamentary sitting day. For more, we're joined by Environment Minister Tanya Plibersek and Nationals MP Barnaby Joyce. Good morning to both of you. Barnaby, let's start with you. Morning. How mate. are you? Oh, look, I'm uh, obviously, uh, you know, I, I made a big mistake. Uh, there's no excuse for it. There's a reason. And, um, you know, this is a, a very eventful walk home, wasn't it? So, anyway, that's, uh, um, you know, I should have followed the... I, I'm on a prescription uh, drug and they say certain things may happen to you if you drink. And they were absolutely 100% right. They did. So you mixed alcohol with prescription medication did you and this is what happened that's that's exactly that's exactly what i said yep hmm. so um we've got um quotes by david littleproud the nationals leader saying you're going to get the support that you need do you need support over this well you know i think it's uh well look, I, i'm not looking for sympathy and i'm not looking for an excuse i think i think actually the answer to that was no watching that he could have said yep 
I'm happy to get some counselling. I'm going to go to AA. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. But the man's a dick. And he's not going to say that because he's a man's man and men don't do that sort of stuff and men don't talk about their feelings and their emotions. So he's not going to do any of that. So I doubt whether he will. But the interesting thing about this interview too, which comes just at the end, and that is Tanya's asked about uh, her response to this and she simply says... Look, I think this is up for the, up to the Nationals and the Liberals to sort out. And she let it go at that. She wasn't going to buy into it. And it's interesting that in Parliament, where they do have the opportunity to have a go at the other, um, particularly the opposition on the government, but no mention had been made by the government. They've been totally respectful, and so has Albanese. Um, so <coughs> everybody's doing kind of the right thing, but no one's talking about the elephant in the room which really is Barnaby's not coping. And so what is being done to help him? And to, you know, I reckon it would be helpful at this particular stage. It's a bit like when footballers come out or sporting people come out and they talk about their depression and sadness and whatever and um, actors and other artists do it. Uh, That's really helpful to the community to know that these people um, do have problems just like everybody else, just like the normal people like us. So... It would have been helpful if Barnaby came out and talked about that. But, oh, no, he won't. He's a country man, man's man, all that sort of crap. So he's not going to do that. So let me know what you think about Barnaby falling over, um, taking a rest at 11.30 at night. And the other thing, too, that I'm wondering, I, I do wonder about is they do have access to government cars. So why isn't it that he wasn't able to either get a government car home or why didn't he Uber? Um, I don't know how far the walk would have been, but any walk to a residential place from Parliament House, if that's where he was, is quite a walk. So maybe he was down at his local drinking. Who knows? Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and all that sort of stuff. And also, if you want to contact me on the email below, please feel free to do so. In the meantime... Take care, look after yourselves, and more importantly, ensure that you and the people that you love are safe.